Is that Gaga? That's Lady Gaga. <laughs> What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the toughest show on the internet. My name is Riley Zosa, I'm joined by my lucky co-host, Graydon. <laughs> winner! It's a lottery ticket. Today we are once again drafting non-athletes to fictional basketball teams. This is our... Starting Five! So here's how this one's gonna work. We're gonna spin a randomizer of pop stars. Whoever we land on, we have to place them at a position in our starting five. We're gonna go back and forth, fill out our squads, and then you decide who built the better team. After pop stars, we have four other categories. Basketball fans, it's time to play basketball. <laughs> All right, before we do it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, highmindtv.com for our merch. We also have a drop with Copes. It is linked in the description. It's on the screen. We also have our Patreon and our Cameo linked in the description if you'd like to support us monetarily. And with the first pick in the pop star draft... I got Bruno Mars. Ooh, okay. Peter Jean Hernandez, that's his, his full legal name. Uh, enough about her Hernandez, let's talk about his Nandez. Really? Um, Bruno Mars, very, very short. And he's flashy, he's got moves. I'm gonna have to put him at the point guard Absolutely. and see what he can do with the handles. Yeah. Because he is a height disadvantage everywhere else on the court. It's gonna be tough. He is a bit of a high flyer vocally though, so I think he'll be able to still attack the rim. God, I hope I get Anderson Pack for shooting guard. Oh, their chemistry. I got Adele. Now, I don't know her full legal name, so I'm already <laughs> at a, a bit of a disadvantage. Yeah. Talk about accolades. She knows how to win. You know, not a lot of drama. Just gonna come in, bring that championship attitude I need. Can't spell ballad without ball. I don't think there's any British people in the NBA either. So this is like, we're breaking into a new frontier here. Yeah, or women. Yeah, or women for that matter. <laughs> right. Not one woman has ever played in the NBA. Yeah. And I think that's a little messed up. I think she goes perfect at my three. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. I yeah. think she's a strong, strong forward. All right, let's see who I get with my second pick. Dua Lipa. Oh my God. The star power here, it's palpable. Dua's tall, do not forget about her height advantage. Yeah, Dua's got height. She also combines a classic style of play mm -hmm. with a almost <laughs> futuristic style of play. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put Dua at the two. I think that just makes the most sense. I know she's got height, okay. but to me, she just <clears throat> screams shooting guard. Yeah, you I know. right as you rolled this pick, I said that's the perfect backcourt right there. Yep. Is that Gaga? That's Lady Gaga. <laughs> This is gonna bring a lot to the fans. The yeah. fans are gonna be monsters, you yeah. know what I mean? There's gonna be a lot of pandemonium surrounding. Gaga's kind of the Rodman of the pop star verse. Absolutely, you've got you know a Dennis I mean? Rodman type character, yes. yes. She's gonna bust out for a few weeks. We're not even gonna know where she's at. She's gonna come back high, married to, I don't know, maybe someone like Dennis Rodman. <laughs> and she's still gonna bring something that's intangible. No one else in the league can bring what Gaga does to the court. I'm gonna put her down on the block at my four. <laughs> Lady Gaga at the four, huh? Gaga at the four. Yeah, okay. It's Rodman's position. I feel like it just goes hand in hand. Yeah. You can be crazy and be a four. You dated a few crazy fours. They were Ohio fives. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, who the heck is this? Is this Michael Bublé? Yeah. <laughs> this is Michael Bublé. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect him to be here. How you doing, Michael? Uh, <laughs> okay, Bublé. Oh man, tough to put a finger on him on a basketball court. You a know? veteran. Yeah, I mean, he's a vet. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he's just, um, he's a bit of a copycat, you know? He just kind of watched a lot of basketball, like, w way back in the day, yeah. and he just kind of does what they did. Yeah. So I feel like he's not going to be able to keep up with this new fast-paced style of play. Right. You Not know? much uh, modern play style going on here. Yeah, the last time that he watched basketball was like the 50s. Yeah. You know? He's like <laughs> solid chest pass. <laughs> he still thinks they're all white. You know? <laughs> that being said, God, he's got to be short as hell, huh? Yeah, he can't be that tall. I just haven't met you yet. You know what? I'm going to put him at the small forward yeah. and just keep praying that I get those huge honking pop stars. <laughs> yeah, which uh, I don't think really exists, <laughs> <Yeah>. but... <laughs> I got B Spears. Britney Spears. <laughs> you want to talk about a chip on the shoulder? Britney Spears getting a second chance at a career and it, now it's in the NBA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's going to bring it every single night. I think she's got a little bit of a stature to her. I don't think she's five foot three. I think she might be a five eight. Oh no, my guess is like five five. Five five, that seems way too small. Five four. Five four, Brittany is small. Yeah. I think I'm gonna put her at my two and just let her shoot. She's gonna be a volume <laughs> shoot. Yeah, yeah. Brittany uh -huh. gets the green light. She's like my J.R. Smith. She can shoot 15 threes a game, I don't care. Five of them are gonna drop. <laughs> 
Yeah, there you go. Oh, you got a Brit at two and a Brit at three. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta fill out my front court. Oh, and you got him. <laughs> John fucking mayor. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's tall as hell, uh, a bit pompous, I understand. You know, his personality doesn't work for everybody. I yeah. totally get that. Here's the thing. He's a ladies' man, and he knows he's a ladies' man yeah. to a fault. I mean, he is going to yuck it up out there. Yeah. He is going to come out there and be like, let's go, <laughs> you know, blah, 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 blah. But, um, I mean, yeah, he's gonna shred people down low. <laughs> Absolutely, he's a shredder. This is your prototypical four man, I Oh, think. no, I know. He is absolutely my four. Yeah. He brings a lot of power to the position. He understands the classics, but yeah. he's also tapped into what's going on right now. <laughs> Holy shit, you got Sean Mendez, man. I got Sean Mendez. <laughs> Sean Mendez goes at the one. That's not even a question. I think Sean Mendez is tall. Bullshit, he's tall. I don't think so. I think Sean Mendez is like 5'7. Five, 5'11. Seven. Five, I think he's six foot two. See? This is what I'm saying. He's got height on him. Just as like a rule of thumb, though, I can't put Sean Mendez at my five. He's not tough enough. Well, yeah, but you can do some rearranging if you have to. I'm putting him at my one. I'll do some rearranging at the end if need be. But yeah, I'm not stoked about the pick. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. I'm gonna look to move Sean Mendez if anybody has cash considerations, <laughs> future draft picks, anything to free up salary space to yeah. feed the giant egos I already have on my team and establish superstars. Sean yeah. is on the verge of falling off, I'm afraid. <laughs> right? He's right. one stinker of an album away from being irrelevant. And that makes me a little nervous, but it also might give him the most motivation necessary to lead this squad of gals I've assembled so far. <laughs> sure, yeah. Just a reminder, he started on Vine, by the way. Humble beginnings. Just shows he's good for like six seconds. Oh no. Ariana Grande. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, I'm a huge fan of her work. Yeah. I think she's fantastic. I think she's <laughs> self-aware. She knows yeah. who she is. Um, <laughs> With that spirit in mind, I'm gonna do some rearranging because yeah. I am not about to put Ariana Grande, poor little Ariana Grande, down at my five and like no. get eaten up by whoever you pick. <laughs> so, um, yeah, first move, obviously, taking John to the five. You're moving John down to the five. Absolutely. <laughs> obviously, second, they can do it under the four. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's my power forward. It's an obvious move. Now, here's where I have to make some decisions, but it's not hard. Ariana Grande is my shooter. That's my two. Yeah. My squad is solidified. I got yeah. Ariana Grande at the two. Mm -hmm. Let's see who you get for your final one. See if you can even put up 10 points. Yeah. Just give me a talent. I just want talent on this squad. All right, you got him. Oh, I got talent. I got Justin fucking Bieber. Yeah. <laughs> That does pull things together. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, it really yeah, does. Yeah, it really pulls things together. <laughs> yep. This is the missing piece. Jay Beebs has gotta orchestrate this offense. Absolutely. See, that's where I was going with it. <laughs> Beebs has gotta yeah, orchestrate yeah. it. <laughs> Maybe you and I aren't so different after all, huh? <laughs> Beebs. Beebs. Beebs at the one. Beebs at the one. Uh huh. How tall was Sean again? A six foot two? Six foot two, motherfucker. Yeah. So he's lanky, but he's gonna get bullied down there. Um, so I'm gonna put my toughest player at the five. I'm gonna put Gaga down at the five. <laughs> 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 Undersized, but so was Ben Wallace, and Ben Wallace were won three defensive players of the year. Yeah. Think about it. Gaga is the Ben Wallace of pop star NBA basketball. Yeah, you called her Rodman like five minutes ago, but sure. Now she's Ben Wallace. Okay. <laughs> I don't want Sean at my four. I'm gonna put him at a stretch three, and I'm gonna put Adele down at my four. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, all right. It's the power in the voice that I think will allow her to hold position and grab 12 to 16 rebounds a game. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, so that rounds out my team. I got Biebs at the one, yep. Britney Spears at the two, Shawn Mendes at three, Adele at four, and Gaga at five. I think it actually shaped up to be it okay. Did. It, came, it came it out looked to be, bad. Yeah, I'd say this is a four or fifth seed in the East. Yeah, I don't think it's a, a playoff team personally. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> all right, let us know if my team or Graydon's team wins the pop star match. <laughs> Up. Before we get into Smash characters, oh. we're gonna draft Super Smash Brothers characters to basketball teams, just like any normal YouTube channel would do. <laughs> I don't have to talk about Sean Mendez anymore, do I? I don't think so. Okay. All right, motherfucker. So I went first on the other one, so you're gonna go first on this one. Is that cool with you? <laughs> Sounds good, Commissioner. Oh my God, he got DK off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the organization. Just pretend to be Donkey Kong for a second. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a lot of people are gonna say DK is the prototypical five here. Yeah, some people would say that. Not on my ball club. Okay. <laughs> We're paving a new way for the future. All right, sure. I'm putting this big, bodied, athletic freak of a giant cartoon donkey at my four. <laughs> <laughs> He's Donkey Kong. His he's name a donkey. is Donkey Kong, but he's not a donkey, man. <laughs> Why he's... would they name him Donkey then? 
<laughs> he's clearly like a gorilla, you know? I don't, that doesn't look like any gorilla I've ever... His name's Donkey Kong. This is crazy, man. I don't... Yeah. He's a donkey in my book, and he's also a four and not a five. It's my team. <laughs> Um, who the hell is this? <laughs> you got a little boy with a net! It's a boy with a net, what's the- oh, that's Villager. That's Villager, okay, yeah. great. This is a piece of shit. <laughs> He's literally a little kid with a butterfly net. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a Wii, is he a Wii character? He's from, uh- Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing. Oh, he's from <laughs> Animal Crossing, that's even worse. Okay, so we got like generic, no personality, little boy, kind of like NPC type vibes. <laughs> Uh, God, dead weight, anywhere he goes. Let's just put him at two. The net's gonna help on defense? Yeah, I guess that's cool. Ugh, bad start, bad start. Eddie needs a championship. <laughs> yep, I, if I, yep. Oh wait, what the, on uh, God's green earth? <laughs> you got Pikmin. <laughs> Pikmin? Yeah. Is Pikmin the one that can control all the little stuff? Yep. Yeah. Almost has a mind control-like element to it. His name is Olimar. Olimar, the yes. Pikmin. Olimar and the little guys he plucks out are Pikmin. He kind of comes with an entourage. Yes. Yeah. And he'll deploy the Pikmin to do things for him? Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like this. <laughs> I like this aspect. Yeah. Olimar is going to play the one and dish out the little Pikmin to do all the things he needs on the court. They're not going to count as extra bodies on the court? I don't think so. I mean, and this seems like a massive loophole that's gonna really work in my favor. Totally. <laughs> There's gonna be tons of little Pikmin out on the court doing things. Yeah, <laughs> untying people's shoes, <laughs> pulling <laughs> people's pants down. Terrorizing, <laughs> they could run the concession stands? Yeah. And they oh, can yeah. do that? Easily. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I'm gonna save money on general arena employment. They can distract the refs. I mean, there's tons of, <laughs> <laughs> there's tons of stuff going on. It's just, your manipulative ass would like a guy who controls a bunch of people. They're not people, they're Pikmin. <laughs> <laughs> With the way Instagram is going, we're, we've all become Pikmin, you know? Come on, give him a doofus. Oh, I oh, got Samus. That's why that was my dream pick right there. God, Samus is awesome. I mean, she is just OP. That's yeah. the thing about Samus. Samus <laughs> is just like acrobatic, but can also like shoot stuff out of like her little <laughs> cannon arm. Yeah. Uh, see, the thing is I play these games very passively. I don't <laughs> know enough about the games they come from. Mm -hmm. I just play this one. Yeah. So I just know what Samus can do in Smash mm -hmm. and I just watch her kind of work her magic. It was never like a, wasn't a main for me, but sure. a lot of people's mains is Samus. I never loved the Lakers, but it sure feels like you just drafted an 18 year old Kobe Bryant. Yeah. You know, it has <laughs> yeah. that feeling of like Samus is just ready for the big leagues right out of high school and is going to change kind of the landscape of the whole league. For that reason, I'm going to move Villager to the three because oh. just like kind of to play like the Michael Buble role, you know, okay, yeah. just kind of yeah. being like the worst player on the team. Let's just get him out of the way. Kind of a three and D guy. And Samus is my two. Yeah. It's like an obvious two. Maybe scoring title? 33, 35 points a game? Like <laughs> that doesn't even feel crazy with Samus. <laughs> Definitely not gonna be splitting any points with Villager. No. So. <laughs> no. Hey, look, what is that? That's Ridley. Okay, so apparently I've drafted Ridley. So believe it or not, you drafted Ridley. Yeah. Where does Ridley come from? Samus's game. Okay, so Ridley comes from Samus's game. I'm gonna just assume that Ridley was Samus's kind of- Arch nemesis. Arch yeah. nemesis here. Yeah. I mean, this feels good, this feels natural. Ridley's going at two, and the Ridley-Samus battle continues outside of their verse and now in the NBA universe. Yeah. <laughs> the tale is old as time. Beauty and the Beast, Samus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Samus and the Dragon, yeah. Please give me Bowser. So close, I got King K. Rule. <laughs> <laughs> This fat son of a bitch is going at the five. Yeah. I mean, it's just easy. I'm going to avoid that obvious tactic that you just pulled, which yeah, yeah. is like Ridley versus Samus. Sure. It's just kind of like the cliche, like, oh, we're going to blip it till we get blah, blah, blah. You know, Donkey Kong's at your four. I'm going to put King K. Rule right down at the five. I'm not going to make them battle any more than they already have. Okay. What is he, a big fat crocodile? Yeah, he's a big fat crocodile, exactly. I mean, I see this guy being a bit of a problem at five and so a matchup I'm going to have to focus on. But as like a note from GM to GM, sure. I wouldn't make decisions decisions on your team based on how I made decisions with my team. I would just stay out of my business. Oh, interesting. And put the players at the positions you think they'll be best at. So I don't think, pay attention to what anybody else is doing. Mm -mm. Just make a team based on what you love and feel. Like but a, based on the oh, talent oh, that you listen, acquire. So, ooh, I feel like this is a good, I'm looking at what you're doing every single goddamn move. I'm putting cameras in your locker room. Bro. I was gonna say, worry about <laughs> what's going on in your building before you start peeping in mine. Oh, fuck. Fuck!
Oh. God, this is depressing. Is that a giant spiny evil turtle by name of Bowser? <laughs> Is that every franchise's dream center right there? <laughs> is this the Shaquille O'Neal of the Smashverse? Yes, I'll answer for you. <laughs> yeah, it I don't want to answer that. Your little fat slobby crocodile, I'm afraid, is in for a world of hurt. Bowser, he's gonna destroy you. King K. Rule versus Bowser is actually like a, that's a decent matchup though. And I think yeah. a lot of people would take K. Rule over Bowser in that situation. I just main Bowser. He's the character I'm the most familiar with. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we would have that coach athlete relationship yeah. that everybody's looking for. Sure. Something like a Steve Kerr, Steph Curry sort of vibe. Absolutely. It's like their names are even similar. Steve Kerr, Steph Curry. I never thought about that. That's weird as fuck. Oh, yeah. It's not that weird. It's fucking weird. LeBron's head coach is LeBron. <laughs> well, <laughs> the reason I'm so stoked on Bowser here is he's yeah. battle tested. I mean, this guy fights for a living. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We and all fight for a living if you think about it. And, and when it comes to capitalism. Never even thought about capitalism, like as a system until just now. They're they're really getting off on us, aren't they? Yeah, they are getting off all over us. We are really just making money for a bigger, unidentifiable entity, or the machine, as Tolkien would refer to it. Tolkien, like the the white rapper? Yes. Yeah, oh, he, oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> He's written a lot of books. That's cool, man, good yeah. for him. You kind of have like the dream front court, just so you yeah. know. Yeah, giant spiky turtle and a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Jigglypuff. <laughs> Don't be fooled by how cute she is. This is a cold-blooded killer. Yeah, <laughs> an absolute murderer on the court. In Smash, there is a move that Jigglypuff has where she, if she just falls asleep next to you, you just die instantly. <laughs> Literally just a <laughs> a secret weapon. Just as like a bipartisan fan of the game. Right. I'm excited. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm, yeah, me too. I want the team I'm going up against to be the best. To be the very best. Yeah, absolutely. That no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. Yeah. And to train them is my cause. Yeah. <laughs> so if you think Jigglypuff was good in college, wait till I spend a summer with her. <laughs> <laughs> And not like that. Yeah. No, okay? I got it. Like training camp. Training camp. Yeah. Summer league. Exactly. Yeah. Summer league. Yeah. Oh, Kirby is going to swallow you whole on defense. You're going to have the ball. I'm going to say, suck him up, Curbs. He's going to go. And then you're going to be inside. What you going to do from inside? I don't, I don't know. You're not going to score. Kirby's going at the two and I'm going to move the Riddler down to the three. <laughs> And I'm gonna have Kirby and Olimar in the backcourt. That feels lethal. <laughs> Olimar feels like the defensive specialist point guard, kind of reminiscent of Patrick Beverly. Oh, yeah. Finally, I get somebody that I identify with. A stinky, greasy Italian. <laughs> A stinky, greasy Japanese Italian. I've got Luigi. And like Luigi, I have a mustache and I'm taller than my brother. Um, oh, man. Luigi's great, man. Yeah. Just like... Let's forget basketball for a second, uh, you know? Okay. Let's just forget basketball for a second, because sometimes like it. it's bigger than the game. Okay. Sometimes it is bigger than the game. That's true. And Luigi's just, you know, a great guy, comes from a, a modest background, mm -hmm. into what a lot of people would consider overwhelming fame. I mean, <laughs> you know, a plumber. And then yeah. all of a sudden, I'm on the front of magazines. International superstar. I mean, a lot of people would crumble under that pressure or would succumb to the pitfalls of fame. Yeah, yeah they, drugs. Kardashians. But here, Luigi has stayed true. Still wearing those same overalls. Same green shirt, same green hat. Hasn't changed the lick. Same old Luigi. That's the heart of my squad right there. Mm -hmm. He's got an L on his hat, yep. but he's got a W on his chest. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not like a physical W. But right, he's, metaphorical he's like, W. He's got a W on his chest. Got like, it. He's like, he's out there to get yeah. Ws. I'm going to do some moving around. Samus at the four. That makes sense. Gotta put Samus down at the four. Put Luigi at my two. Mm -hmm. I've got Jigglypuff running my offense at the one. Villager, dead weight, piece of shit, Hobo Johnson type character yes. at my three. Yeah. I've got Samus at my four, OP. And then I've got King Cruel down at the five. Mm -hmm. I'm banking on my center being able to run that front court. I got Olimar and his Pikmin at the one. I got Kirby, suck him up, Curb, at two. <laughs> I got the vicious dragon at three, Ridley, that I cannot wait to see just shred the villager. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be an ugly match. I can't wait either. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. Um, I have a donkey at four, <laughs> and I have big spiky Bowser at five. I mean, I'd, I'm in love with my team. I will die. Yeah. For these players. Your team's not bad, but I, I don't know. I have a feeling I take this round. 
That's interesting because I think we are one and one now going into yeah. the third round. Which is? TV hosts. TV hosts, let's go. Our trusty random wheel is now filled with TV hosts. We're gonna spin it. I get first pick in this round. Yes. A lot of tall MFs in this. Jay Leno. Jay fucking Leno. <laughs> a man who looks nothing like any other person on planet Earth. No. <laughs> the shape of his face is yeah. like it was designed by Seth MacFarlane. Looks like a veteran with PTSD went to a Build-A-Bear. <laughs> <laughs> he's also got that uh, squirrely little voice like that. Uh -huh. You know, Jay Leno. And you can count on him to roll up to each game in a new car. Absolutely. Which Jay Leno's exciting. garage. Yeah, Jay Leno. Garage. Oh my god. I hope he converts part of the garage into a little practice court for himself. Yeah. You know what? He seems like just a solid three. Yeah. I think he could easily be my four, depending on the size that I get with the rest of my draft. And the size you get of Leno in training camp. That's he comes true. in way and different every year. Yeah. And listen, I'm just putting this out there. His nickname for the season could be Dr. J. Leno, depending on what he does. <laughs> it's not bad. It's one windmill dunk away from one of the best <laughs> nicknames. So you have a drunk old white man at your three. Let's see what I get. The rest is all drunk old white yeah, 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 yeah. like <laughs> Oh God. I got I got Bill Maher. Controversial MF. I mean, this guy knows how to debate and he knows how to really run a bad TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this isn't somewhat, this is toxic start to my locker room. Absolutely awful. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy, which yeah. is you right now. I would not even, I don't even want you to have to have Bill Maher there. I know. I'm going to use him as trade bait throughout the year, and I'm going to let his agent know that. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he goes out, trade your ass, Bill. I think he'd get booed by his own team going out. And not like, I don't mean like the fans of his own team. I mean his team. <laughs> The people around him. Yeah. As they walk out onto the court, they're booing Bill Maher. He is good at sharing the stage. His show format was sure. often, you know, a lot of people from a dot all over the place. Yeah. For that reason and for that reason alone, I'm going to put him at my one. Wow, that's crazy. Letting Bill Maher run your offense. <laughs> yeah, I'm not stoked on that first pick. Let's keep this trucking. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I got Jimmy Kimmel. I am just stacking up the late night guys. Jimmy Kimmel, kind of a sleeper. How so? A lot of people talk about their favorites and least favorites in late night. Yeah. Jimmy Kimmel sits right in that middle zone. Yeah. Nobody's saying he's their favorite or least favorite. Everybody's like, I either hate Fallon or I love Fallon. I either hate Letterman or I love Letterman. Mm -hmm. Leno, same thing, yep. divisive. Jimmy Kimmel, right down the middle. Yeah, kind of a Tim Duncan-esque character. I was gonna say the same thing. You know, a perennial all-star, mm -hmm. non-offensive, but doesn't really bring much flair to the court, but you don't really want a lot of that. And when you pay attention, you realize his fundamentals are good. Yeah. Both in comedy and in basketball. Yeah. He's not flashy, mm -hmm. he's just gonna hold it down at my two. You need a lot of scoring from the two, and I don't know if he's gonna rack up, I don't know how many 30-point games he's good for. Well, you can always have that star one. That yeah, that takes true. the pressure off yeah. your two. I got DT. Yeah. This is a Porzingis type character. He's tall, he's lanky, he's offensive, really consumed with the internet and clips. I don't know if you've seen his show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tosh.0, oh, yeah. yeah. Have you seen it? Uh -huh. Have you seen all 27 seasons? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, really? I've seen all of it, yeah. Okay, so you're familiar with his work. Of course. Um, pretty problematic, kind of subpar in the whole comedic realm, but I think as a player, this is just who you want at your four. He's long, he's lean, he's mean, he's Daniel Tosh, the machine. More like Tosh points? No. <laughs> He's going to need a web redemption after his season. Uh, put the point out at the end. Daniel Tosh, point out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Give me another late night. Just give me the late night guys. I'll yeah. take a late night squad. Ryan Seacrest. Hmm. Short, fake. Hyper. Likeable enough if you don't pay attention. Like if you are a middle America, middle-aged woman yeah. with a glass of wine sure. on a Tuesday night ah. and a show hosted by Ryan Seacrest, one of his many shows, yeah. <laughs> comes on, you're gonna be like, um, you know what? He's kind of cute. Yeah. He's kind of cute. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Seacrest? Yeah. You know who's kind of cute? I don't even know if I want to admit this. <laughs> Ryan Seacrest is kind of cute. I know he's short. But he's kind of cute. You know he sold weapons to ISIS, right? Oh, whatever. I mean, okay. leave work at work. He's just kind of a cutie. This is my one, okay? And let okay. me tell you why. He's got handles. Yeah. What did he say on American Idol? Okay, he would cross Simon up. Ankles, you'd hear them snap audibly. You'd hear Simon's ankles, and he'd say, we'll be right back after the break. No, I don't remember that. And I mean, as far as hosts go, 
he's kind of a good one because he just lets everyone else run the show. Yep. He's not much of a host. He's just kind of the guy with the microphone. And that's what I'm saying is he's <laughs> going to be able to distribute. Mm-hmm. He will score, but he's not going to do too much. I got two non-flashy backcourt guys. Yep. And I think that is actually a good tandem to have, especially with mm-hmm. big ass Leno, big showy, <laughs> crazy ass Leno. <laughs> yeah. three. Wild card Jay Leno. Yeah, yeah. yeah Dr. Jay Leno. Like yeah, yeah. I'm just worried about what Bill Maher and Daniel Tosh are going to get up to on the weekend. <laughs> Give me someone I like. Someone the fans can be excited about. Well, don't think I got it here. Yes, you did. Oh, I got Oprah. You got Oprah. (laughs) Fuck. The Big O. (laughs) Last person named the Big O? Oscar, Oscar Robertson. Robertson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Robertson, right? Robertson, yeah. yeah. Oscar Robertson. I mean, wow, those are big shoes to fill, obviously, size 16s. Yeah. But Oprah is, I mean, she's giving. Generous with the ball. She's very close with several past U.S. presidents. True. That kind of power can really come to play, especially when it comes to the offseason and I'm trying to, you know, get players onto my team and they're looking at it and they're like, I don't want to play at Daniel Tosh and Bill Maher. And then Oprah's there with an Xbox 360. <laughs> True. For this reason, I'm going to move Maher down to my two and I'm going to put the big go right at the top of the offense where she needs to be. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to give out cars. Don't you think Jay might be interested in that? (laughs) All right, come on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to be doing some maneuvering here. I got Sean Evans, host of Hot Ones, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. Yep. The game film. Oh, my gosh. This guy is going to watch every single move of every player Mm -hmm. on your team, and you better fucking believe he has seen all 27 seasons of Tosh.0. Well, who hasn't? Right. And spicy. I just, I'm worried about his on-court performance. He's never really been on the other side of the desk getting interviewed. I don't know. I don't know. But he can handle the heat. I, I understand. Stand, but like he's matching the performance of everybody who's sitting across from him. Is he? Yes. Really? He's the star of that show. I'm telling you right now, Sean can handle the heat. He's great on defense. He's gonna have the most basketball knowledge of anybody on the court. Doesn't matter who he's up against. Mm-hmm. And that's why I'm gonna have to do a big seismic shift. Yeah. Which is what I'm gonna I'm just gonna pull the whole thing down. Okay. Sean at the one. Yeah. Seacrest at the, the two. two. Jimmy Kimmel at the three. And Leno down on the block. Big fat crazy Jay Leno down on the block. Yes. That makes sense. I think you're lucky to get 10 points out of Sean, though. He scores 10 points every single episode. 10 wings. That's true. Who you got? Yeah. No. <laughs> Not my dream player. Yeah. I got Mr. Corden. <laughs> That's who I was banking on being down on my five. The songster of a generation, mm. a big jolly son of a bitch. Mm. A lot of people say that about him. That's not, that, those yeah. aren't my words. That's E News' words. Yeah, yeah. Big jolly son of a bitch set to leave late night <laughs> and join NBA roster constructed by Graydon from Hive Mind. I don't know if I want to put Corden down at my five because he's so good at driving. And when he lets that jumper fly, it can really sing. Mm. Okay, I see what you're doing here. Whoosh. That's a swish. That's yeah. a James Corden swish. Yeah. <laughs> and although he might be a little slow, I think I'm going to put him at my three. That's a weird pick, yeah. I think that makes sense for my squad, though. It's kind of a chaos squad over yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> and I want him to be in a position to get the ball from the big O. Him <laughs> and Oprah are going to have kind of a magic chemistry. Yeah, they seem like they would get along. Yeah. A lot of chemistry there. Really well. Yeah. I almost see like a Dwayne Wade Shaq type relationship <laughs> totally. forming here. <laughs> totally, yeah. All right, here we go. How about you pick a woman? <laughs> I don't have a choice. <laughs> Oh, Oh. I got Steve Harvey. Cleveland's own. Woo, Cleveland's own Family Feud host, Steve Harvey, my brother in mustache. Mm -hmm. He's tall as fuck, too. He's tall as shit. A big body. He's old. He's a veteran. He's poised at all moments. He has something to say. Mm -hmm. He's hilarious. He's like... He has that thing. He's got that thing. Yeah. Exactly. (laughs) It's the X Factor. He has that X Factor. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm going to do with him? Try and smooth out the wrinkles on the back of his head. (laughs) I meant like uh, as a... Like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'd get your trainers on that too. They're weird. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's weird. What are you gonna do with them? I'm putting that big oak tree of a man down at the five. Yeah. <laughs> yep, he's going right in that slot. He knows what he's doing at the five and just let the big guy go to work. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, my gosh. An ace in the hole. The Irish hammer, Conan O'Brien, <laughs> is now on my team. God. I mean, this guy's athleticism. When we say someone is tall, when we, we're, like, in the context of these games, we mean, like, tall for a TV host. Yeah. This guy is tall, like, 
tall. This guy's NBA height. That's what I'm saying. In real life. Like, in real life, this dude's like 6'6", six, six, I yeah. think. And although he's not beefy, the Cone and Daniel Tosh, I mean, those are tw- that's twin towers down yeah. there. Uh-huh. Those uh-huh. are two genuinely large men. And we know, I mean, nobody could take down the twin towers. <laughs> Did I miss something? Yeah. <laughs> Did I miss something? Yeah. No. You went down. What? I know. <laughs> Next, yeah. you're going to tell me the Titanic sank. <laughs> oh, yeah. It wasn't unsinkable. It is unsinkable. No, it sank, buddy. What? It's in the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You haven't heard. Uh, I have got to watch the news, like at some point. Yeah. You know? I mean, as far as Conan O'Brien joining my squad, this is the skill set you dream of as a coach and a GM. Yeah. I mean, Steve Harvey's old and slow, and Conan's swift as a bitch down there. <laughs> Conan is getting old, too. Have no. you seen his new stuff? I mean, yeah, he's getting old. His play style is timeless, though. I think they've got a similar liveliness down at the five. Steve Harvey and Conan O'Brien is a decent matchup. Conan's got him on height. Don't yeah. get me wrong. You know, I'm not delusional. I understand. Mm-hmm. Conan's got him on height. Yeah. But Steve Harvey is going to make up for that. He's going to match his charisma yeah. and his tenacity. I think the real mismatch is I got Jay Leno on Daniel Tosh. I mean, yeah, it's a mismatch for me, too. I mean, I got height there. Jay Leno is going to back Daniel Tosh down. He's going to be a pile of clothes from Target on the floor. <laughs> okay. And you think Kimmel's going to stand up to Corden? That's going to be a tough one for yeah. me. I understand. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not, that's a it's bully. A that's a bully matchup right yeah. there. Okay. Ryan Seacrest versus Bill Maher. Both are duds, but Ryan Seacrest is a better dud than He's Bill cleaner. Maher. Yeah. He's absolutely. cleaner. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. And then Sean Evans versus Oprah. Kind of similar characters here, you know. <laughs> Both very generous. Sean <laughs> Evans gives people chicken wings. And <laughs> hurt <laughs> Oprah gives out Toyota Camrys. No, I, yeah, you got me at one. You got okay. me at one. Okay, this is this is our closest matchup. This is our best matchup. This match is like yet. I need the comments to tell us who yes. won this one. Bye ball. Let's get into our fourth game, which is we will be drafting mythological creatures. Oh my god! I knew I was planning for something. I've been researching these a lot. Cryptids, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first pick. Oh my god! Give me the Mothman. He is dynamic. First one you get. Oh, I got a jackalope. Uh, I was a little worried about this. I mean, this isn't going to strike fear into anyone. It is just a little bunny rabbit with antlers. It's more of just like a quirky bar gag in the West. (laughs) Yeah. You know what I mean? You stumble into a saloon in South Dakota behind the bar gathering dust with like an old John Deere hat on it. It's going to be a dead bunny's decapitated head with another dead animal's antlers hot glued to it. It's kind of like a stage four of an anamorph. But as far as skills on the court, <laughs> I'm just, I'm not seeing a lot of potential here. I mean, pops and three pointers. I mean, he's got a big rack there. <laughs> That's a bigger rack than three points. Man, um, I'm going to put the jackalope at one. Okay. Yeah, let him run the offense. I have landed. Oh, Ooh, man. Ooh, the Kraken. A ginormous octopus creature yeah. that swallows up ships. I mean, eight arms. Need you say more? <laughs> a ship swallower. Yeah. Like a championship. Yeah, he's swallowing up ships. He's swallowing up ships. I see a dynasty. I do, too. With the Kraken at the... I know a lot of people are going to say, okay, we're, this guy's going at the five. No. No. Four. Oh, okay. Those eight tentacles are going to be a mess defensively down yeah. low. I mean... Where are you going to shoot it from? I don't know. He's protecting the entire perimeter from the inside. Wow, I'm gonna, I need something here. Need something bigger than a bunny. Oh, and yeah. I got a... Uh, oh, I see what they're doing. It's a vampire. Okay, I thought yeah. I got Robert Pattinson. You got specifically Robert Pattinson from the Twilight movies, but... Yeah. Do I get a vampire at large? Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. Wow, a timeless villain. A blood-sucking freak. He's going to sleep in the locker room upside down. But, I mean, we've seen so many varieties of vampires over the year. You got the Blade vampires, kind of Y2K, goth. They love techno. They're mm-hmm. underground. They suck blood seemingly for almost, like, sexual pleasure. Totally. Which is an angle I could appreciate. In right. that trilogy, a lot. Right. Also, Twilight Vampires. Something sexy is going on there. But a little more bland. A little more bland, a little more high school romance. Totally. And then, I mean, let's go way back. We got Nosferatu. Yeah. Evil. Collar popped. Lives in a castle. Plays an organ. Plays an organ. Right, exactly. right, right, right. You know, that sort of deal. Creepy. Uh-huh. And but, then let's take it all the way to now. Rick Owens, Playboy Cardi fan vampires. Absolutely. Uh-huh. This diversity, I think, is really going to come in handy on the court. And, like I said, cannot really be killed. So, like, good luck. I'm going to put my vamp at two and just let him suck the blood and just go off on offense. I think I got a a scoring leader potential here. 
Okay. Oh. Oh, is this the Loch Ness monster? You got Nessie. Nessie. <laughs> wow, I'm getting big yeah. sea creatures. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's huge. That's another big one. Arguably the most famous. You're going to have to deal with that celebrity. Totally, yeah. And as much as uh, I would love for Nessie to lock them up down low, <laughs> uh -huh. I'm going to put Nessie at the three. I think that actually makes a lot you of sense. You know what I mean? I, another one in the middle to hold it down. I'm going to have a big squad. Yeah. I can already tell. <laughs> And so I'm going to hold out for the five because okay. I think I want a more more dynamic big guy down there. Something maybe like a land mammal. Something with hands. Something with hands. Totally. Yeah. Totally. So this is going to be the three. A lot of like, you know, teardrops, a lot of shots <laughs> from the elbow. Yeah. That's kind of the, the vibe of, <laughs> of Nessie. And then on defense, obviously a powerhouse, you yeah. know, almost like a ninth tentacle for the Kraken. Mm, I like the way you're thinking about that. It's just that. That, that, the neck. that penis head that the Loch Ness has. <laughs> that long fucking neck. Scotland. The Sasquatch. Mmm. Huge. Yeah, this thing is a big fucker. A monster. <laughs> Got hops, has opposable thumbs, and there's not going to be a lot of those. I think the ball skills that I have so far are really good. I'm going to put the Sasquatch as a placeholder at my five okay. in case my lineup stays small. Yeah. Because yeah, he's yeah. going to be able to handle his own down. Yeah, absolutely. He could maybe even, like, joker it. You know what I mean? He could handle the rock. He might even distribute it and start the break himself. He's getting a board and he's gone. And he's got experience, like, you know, with the limelight because of those those beef jerky commercials. Zach so, Lanks. Yeah, totally. Known anger issues, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, a griffin. God, I might have to do some maneuvering. I mean, this thing has wings, yeah. claws, a beak. I mean, we're talking back half of this thing's body is a horse. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of it is basically an eagle, yeah. but the talons are hands. I mean, this is like a dangerous thing on the court. Horrific. Oh, man. It is tough for me because I think, honestly, this is a pretty perfect three. Yeah, it's, this is your most dynamic option so far. Yeah, yeah. So I think I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to shift everything down. I'm going to have to put the lock in at the four, put the Kraken at the five, mm -hmm. keep the Kraken close to the basket yeah. in order to, to really defend. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let the, the Griffin work its magic at the three. I mean, this is my LeBron James. Yeah, high flyer. <laughs> does it lay eggs or does it like shit a horse bird out? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure exactly the reproductive nature of a non-existent mythological being. Oh, who's to say it didn't exist? I don't know. Me. Say whatever I want. Okay. What is this? Is this a minotaur? No. Is this a sphinx I'm looking at? Yeah. A sphinx. Kind of all powerful. Definitely feels like it has that godly deity quality. It's got to go at my three. To kind of one, combat yeah, the wings kinda, yeah. of the griffin. Uh -huh. But it seems like it has a similar skill set, just more important. See, I've never seen a sphinx in motion like this. I've always yeah. just seen like the statue, like the kind of like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sort of vibe. But I'm excited to see it in, in gameplay. Yeah, me too. Because I know little about it, but God, it's beautiful. Mm. As long as the style of play is half as beautiful as this critter looks, we're in for a treat. Yeah. None of these guys can handle the ball. You really need a ball handler. Yeah, that's true. And I got one. Absolutely, I got a mermaid. The water theme continues. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. A beautiful player, too. The lust of so many sailors lost. <laughs> <laughs> now, there is a little bit of an issue. Obviously, it's no. height. The Little Mermaid. Yeah. So I'm going to have to put the mermaid at the one. Yeah. I think she can dish the rock out mm -hmm. and has a cosmic connection with the Loch Ness and the Kraken. That's true. I'm hoping my vampire is not a Robert Pattinson vampire because of his sexual attraction to mermaids. If that doesn't strike fear into your opponent, I don't know what will. The chubacabra comes in at night, eats your livestock. What it does on the court, yet to be seen. Never played <laughs> in an NBA basketball game. <laughs> That's a goat eater. So the best player on my team has got an issue, you know? You got a ship sinker. I got a ship swallower. That might be the goat, but you've got the goat eater. Feeds on the blood of the other team's best player. I feel like I got a Ron Artest type character mm, here. Mm -hmm. And I think it fits perfectly at my four. Although it's small, it is just the Clamps. Loch Ness versus a chupacabra? I don't know, man. I'd put the Sphinx at the four, but hey. Oh. And I got a 
leprechaun. Okay. <laughs> All right. A lot of magic yeah. in the backcourt. Yeah, a lot of magic. I got a mermaid and a leprechaun <laughs> in my backcourt. And of course, height, like I said, it's an issue. Yeah. Little mermaid is one thing. Yeah. But a leprechaun? <laughs> That's as small as it gets. I can't believe I drafted Bruno Mars twice. You know? <laughs> I'm going to have to move some things. I'm going to I'm gonna put the mermaid at the two. That makes sense. An amazing shot. Yeah. Leprechaun is just too small to compete, even against a normal vampire. And he's got like, a, he's giving out gold or something. Do <laughs> leprechauns give the gold or do they hoard it? They want it. They're obsessed yeah. with it. <laughs> so maybe he's stealing. Yeah, he's a, st- he's st- a lot of steals. A lot of steals. Yeah, Jackalope versus Leprechaun, much of better matchup, you yes. know? And, of course, <laughs> the mermaid against your Robert Pattinson vampire is going to be an <laughs> issue. So. Yeah, a big issue. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play into the drama with that one. <laughs> Let's just hope the mermaid isn't made out of porcelain. This is a really good matchup here, too. We're going to need the comments to decide this. I yeah. don't know. I-, I think I got you on this one, but let me just read through my squad. Go ahead. Leprechaun at the one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mermaid at the two. Yeah. The dynamic Griffin at the huh. three. Mm-hmm. The Loch Ness at the four. Yeah. And I got the all-powerful Kraken at the five. At number one, I have the cute jackalope. Oh. <laughs> it is cute. Yeah, it's, a, can, it's satanic, but it's cute. We can agree on that. At two, I have a vampire. At the three, bit of a dynamic kind of demigod here in the Sphinx. Mm-hmm. At the four, a chubacabra. Again, satanic, evil, goat blood sucking little monster. And to round it all off, I think the star of this team is my Sasquatch at five. Yeah, kind of a sleeper, but yeah, you're against a Kraken, so we'll see. I don't know. I think this is up to them. This is a toss up. All right, hit the comments. Let us know my squad or Graydon's squad for the mythological creatures. And we are going to get into our final matchup, which feels like it could be a deciding one. Which is? We will be drafting emojis. Everyone's favorite little texting pictures. (laughs) All right, here we go. I get first pick on this one. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got the shushing emoji. <laughs> that one okay. feels good. This one, I always put right next to a trophy, and that's fitting. Real G's move in silence like lasagna. You hit the dagger on a road game, you look at the opposing crowd. Yeah. What do you do? Quiet down. You got nothing to cheer about. Okay. In that fashion, I'm going to put this thing at the two. It seems like a killer. Okay, kind of a counter to the shush. I get the crying laughing. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> what is this guy going to bring to the team? I feel like the real question here is what isn't he going to bring to the team? You can use this emoji whenever. That's true. Very versatile. Very versatile. I can put him at any position. I feel like he's going to carry the load of some potential weak picks later. It feels like a natural three here. I imagine this emoji dunking, slamming, mm. posterizing, okay. and then kind of <laughs> 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 laughing it off. Oh, Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, tongue out, money. Money signs is the eyes. Money sign on the tongue. (laughs) Big time money. Obviously, my salary cap's going to take a hit because this thing charges a lot, Mm -hmm. obviously. (laughs) You can pay that tax, though. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. This is also kind of a vulnerable emotion in a certain way. How so? You know, if you're out there flexing your bands, you're kind of a lick. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if somebody on your team decides to hit that lick, then I'm in trouble. But for now... I'm putting the cash at the one. I mean, a big time scorer at Mm. the one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. I got kind of like the sweaty, anxious, sad guy. Yeah, the like, oh man. Oh man. Uh This is not an expression you want to see out of any of your players at any point. No. (laughs) Let alone one to be stuck like this for the entirety of their contract. Yeah. I mean, I'm signing a sad, little, anxious, sweaty guy. Yeah. <laughs> and that makes me super nervous as a GM. Yeah, it also reads kind of like fatigue. It's almost yeah. like I'm tired of dealing with this. Yeah. Oh, man, I don't like this emoji very much. Again, I'm open for trades here. Would you like to offer a trade? Absolutely not. No? You're yeah. going to hold on to your guys? Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to put the little sweaty, anxious guy at my four. I think I have to. <laughs> right, right. I need to reserve the two for my high score, my high flyer. I need to reserve the one for someone who has way more composure. And the five of someone maybe with some size and this, this is a weak spot. This is my jackalope. This is my villager. This is your Bill Maher once mm-hmm. again. <laughs> wow. Okay. You got the okay. And all you need is an okay three. Yeah, that's exactly. I, you know what I mean? You only need your three to be okay. If the NBA has proved anything over the last couple of years, it's that you can win with a weak spot at the three. Yeah. An okay three. Okay. Oh, what I get there. Okay. Okay, I got a big fat fucking pile of cash. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is the perfect answer to the money man. Yeah. (laughs) This is what he's happy about. Almost the money man's mentor. Almost his kryptonite, honestly. But I don't think I'm going to put the money at my one. And why is that? I want my money to be at the two. Mm -hmm. The money's not distributing. The money is selfish. The money is evil. Mm. The money wants buckets and nothing 
else. <laughs> it's a bucket getter. See, I put money at two as well. I always put God first. Fuck yeah, you do. Uh-huh. You fucking <laughs> love God. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh-oh. Oh boy. I got the crawling baby sign. <laughs> um, Is this even a real sign? Yeah, it's like the SoundCloud logo, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't even, what the hell's the deal? It's just a baby crawling. I guess it lets you know, like, what's going on. It's like a crosswalk sign, but yeah. it's all little babies crawling. Ugh. This isn't good no. to have. No, it's not. It's no. not a good player no. for an emoji basketball team. This is one of the last things you'd want. Yeah, I don't want this one. No. I don't want it. I'm gonna have to move okay down to the four. Because having an okay four and a bad three is better than having a bad four and an okay three. You don't want to get exposed on the block. Absolutely. And one thing we know about NBA basketball, babies suck. Come on. Give me that. Give me that dynamic point guard. I got a clown. You got a whole ass clown. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a lot of ways you could flip this though. Yeah, not really. He could clown you. That's not how we did it. Like I could have done like the baby sign. I'm calling you a little baby. That's not true. You yeah. got a straight up clown. Yeah. He's going to make a mockery of himself. Yep. <laughs> He's going to spray a little flower off his lapel. It's going to hit him in the face. He's going to slip on a banana. He's going to swallow a hot dog. What do you... I've never really even seen a clown yeah. in real life. Uh, I've purposely avoided events that have them. I know, you're afraid of clowns, but... Oh, man. This doesn't feel good. I mean, in the colloquial sense, it's just like he's going to be a, a straight-up clown out there. He's going to make bad decisions. Yeah. He's going <laughs> to flop around. Yeah. It's just like, oh, my God, that dude is a clown. <laughs> Exploit that mismatch. He's a clown. That's yeah. what he would say. I'm going to keep it with a weak front court, and I'm going to put the clown at my five, because I think plenty of NBA teams historically have had just like kind of goofball centers. Yeah, clown. The Lopez brothers, for right, example. Right, George, Rudy yeah. Gobert. Uh -huh. Although he may be talented, he is French. Right. My last pick overall for this entire draft day oh. is... Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can use it for a lot of things. A lot of people use it because they're horny, you know. <laughs> Like, it'll be like a girl posts a picture and she's looking hot and then uh -huh. people will respond with that. Like, I'm in pain because of how good you look. I'm mm. longing and yearning for you. Piney. I don't think this is an overall bad pick, though, because this face could be in response to like, oh, look at that hook shot I just hit. Like, yeah. oh, what a perfect form. Yeah. You know, it could be stuff like that. Yearning face at the five. You're going yearning at the five yeah. to go against the clown? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's I think pretty good better matchup. than the clown, you yeah. know? Yeah. I got the eyeballs, the side eye. And this is good for court vision. Mm. I mean, it's not good. It's great. Yeah. This is the best court vision emoji you're going to get. It's lacking a body. Right. You know, it is just floating <laughs> eyeballs. Right. Yeah. True. But doesn't need to do much besides see the court and run this offense. I think this is the obvious one that I needed. Is it dynamic enough to take me over that edge and get to a championship level? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. And we'll see. Right. But I'm a little shaky. I'm going to need to see something out of these guys in camp mm -hmm. together. I'm going to need to see the clown maybe wipe some of that makeup off. <laughs> I'm going to need to see the fatigued little guy get that sweat off his brow. Yeah, that's not how these things work, though. I'm going to I'm need to see crying, laughing emoji. Quit making a joke out of everything. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to need to see the cash in my pocket. <laughs> you know? Yeah, totally. Uh -huh. So I'm putting eyeballs at the one. I got flying cash at the two. I got crying, laughing emoji at the three. I got a fatigued little guy at the four. <laughs> and I have a clown at five. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got money man at the one. I've got shh at two. I've got the weird little baby sign at three, the okay emoji at four, and I've got the yearning face at five. <sighs> this feels like a battle for the bottom of the barrel here. Yeah. Feels like our worst squads yet. Yeah, totally. But either way, give us your five rounds. Let us know who won each matchup. Also, let us know what other categories you want to see us draft basketball players <laughs> from. <laughs> this is one of our favorite games to do. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let us know if you want us to do it again. Other than that, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. All that stuff I said at the beginning. Getting and Graydon, would you like to leave these wonderful athletes with some advice to leave or live their lives by? Those who do not complain will not be pitied. All right, this has been High by TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Check out my jumper. <laughs> Pop one for him. Yeah. <laughs> Go crazy. Yeah. Woo. Oh. oh. <laughs> Tosh.0. Oh. Uh, is a, it's a good name for a show because he's gonna get O points in <laughs> uh, when in the basketball the fictional basketball game that we're
drafting for. Wait a minute. Captain Crunch is the only one who can crunchitize. I don't think so. I don't think people can crunchitize each other. Otherwise, they wouldn't be asking the captain to crunchitize them. I think that his employees can do the crunchitizing as well. What does it mean to be crunchitized? It's like... Like you get the cereal and the cereal crunchitizes you. Your taste buds. It crunchitizes your taste buds. Yeah. But they're not saying crunchitize my taste buds, Captain. They're saying crunchitize me. Oh, just like the uh, what's going to be in the stats box next to number of points scored for uh, her, Oprah uh, Winfrey. It's going to say Winfrey, comma, O, and mm -hmm. then a little bit over from that, it's going to say O again. Yeah, we kind of did this. this is a zero. We did the O stuff with Daniel no Tosh. No points. Though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just kind of just using O. <laughs> More like Nopra lose free, you know? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Swag. Basketball is my favorite sport. I like the way they dribble up and down the court. Pave paradise, my penis is a parking lot.